application of piecewise function or the mathematical model of piecewise function. This question is came from Dina Pilapio. Kindly share this video to your classmates after explaining. The question is, an internet cafe has a flat rate of 15 pesos for the first hour of playing, surfing, and the like. An additional of 5 pesos for every hour excess afterwards. Construct a mathematical model of the charge C of X, where X represents the total number of hours of playing in the internet cafe. So, tagalogin natin. So, meron daw internet cafe na kapag naglalo ka doon o nag-surf or kahit ano, basta gagamit ka, mag re ka doon, magbabayad ka ng 15 pesos in the first hour. Okay, sa unang oras. Pagkatapos, kapag nag-exit ka na, Let's say, naka 2 hours ka na, naka 3 hours, 4 hours ka na. Additional of 5 pesos every hour. Construct daw tayo ng mathematical model of the charge C of X. So, meron tayong C of X. Wherein, X represent the total number of hours. Okay. So, X is the total number of hours. So, if we have x is less than or equal to 1, ayan. Ang babayaran mo daw ay 15 pesos. So, explain natin to. x is less than or equal to 1. So, ibig sabihin, mas mababa sa isang oras o kaya eksaktong isang oras. Magkano yung babayaran niya? Oh, mayroon tayong flat rate na 15 pesos. If x is less than or equal to 1, ang babayaran niya ay 15 pesos. 15 pesos if x is less than or equal to 1. Ayun, yun yung first na condition natin. Kapag daw, sumabar siya na tigil isang oras. O dalawang oras, tatlong oras. Ano yung magiging mathematical model natin? So, kapag if x is greater than 1, isang oras. O mas malaki daw sa so 1. Ano ngayon yung model natin? So, ang fixed rate natin ay 15. Siyempre, i-add natin, 15 pesos, i-add natin doon, yung magiging additional na bayad niya. So, ang additional na bayad natin, 5 times yung number of hours na i-google niya doon sa internet cafe. So, let's say, X is the represent on total number of hours. So, X minus, ang base natin dito is 1. Yan. Okay. Pwede natin siyang i-check. So, ito na ngayon yung mathematical model. So, kapag nabasa natin ito, alam natin na kapag naka 1 hour ako, ang babayaran ko ay 15 pesos. Ito yon. Okay, less. Pag 45 minutes lang, flat rate yun, na 15 pesos pa din yung babayaran ko, kaya less than. Pero pag naka 2 hours ako, mag a ako ng 5 pesos. So, ang babayaran ko na sa loob ng dalawang oras ay 20. Siyempre, kapag 3 hours ako, ang babayaran ko ay 25. Okay, check natin. Gamit yung second model natin. Kapag 2 hours, so, 2 minus 1, that is 1. 1 times 5, that is 5. So, 5 plus yung 15 natin, which is the base, 5 plus, 5 plus 15, so, 
2 hours, 20 pesos. Tama siya. Kapag 3 hours naman, 3 minus 1, that is 2, times 5, that is 10, plus 15, that is 25. 25 pesos kapag 3 hours. So, ito na ngayon yung ating model. So, pwede natin i-check kapag 5 hours. Siyempre, madami yung isa-search. So, kapag 5 hours ako, alam natin na ang babayaran ay kapag 2 hours, 20, 3 hours, 25, 4 hours, 30, 5 hours, 35. I-check natin. So, if x, oh, 5 hours, ginugol po. So, 15 plus 5 times 5 hours minus 1. So, 15 plus 5 times 5 minus 1, which is 4. So, 15 plus 20, that is 35. So, tama siya. So, ito na ngayon yung ating mathematical model. So, ganun lang. Medyo mahirap si piecewise function talaga kasi uh, papasok na dito yung inequality. Which is, yung inequality ay nasa chapter 2 ninyo under the rational expressions, rational inequalities, and rational equation. Kaya, ma-encounter nyo muna si piecewise function bago kayo pumunta kay rational. Pag sinabing rational expression, fraction. Tapos nga pang rational inequality. Ayan. So dapat ma-master nyo muna yun. Bago natin makuha talaga, ma-master ninyo si piecewise function. Ayan. Please share this to your classmates sa mga may assignment. Then sa nag-comment kay Mias, uh, Dina, Lapio. Again, once again, thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV.